In the beginning of time, billions and billions of years ago, a cell was born. He was a unicellular prokaryotic bacteria with a name only he could possess. Archibacteria. The Archibacteria lived in the most extreme environments. So hostile that it would make a grown man cry. With extreme heats and oxygen nowhere to be found, he lived his life day by day. There are about 100 species in the Archibacteria kingdom. I will share three examples with you. Prepare yourselves. The Methanogens. They produce methane from carbon dioxide and hydrogen. They die in the presence of oxygen and can be found in swamps and marshes. And cowiness. Thermoacidophiles. They usually grow in hot acidic environments like hot springs and use hydrogen sulfide as an energy source. The Austin. Oh, sorry. I don't know how that got mixed in. Halophiles. It requires high concentrations of salt to survive. It lives in the Dead Sea and the Great Salt Lake. Until the 1950s, biologists thought that there were only two kingdoms. One for animals and one for plants. Boy, were they wrong. They had zero kingdoms to cover fungi, protists, and bacteria. Also known as ancient bacteria, this cell is very important, for it is everywhere in the universe. From the inside of cows, termites, and marine life, it is also found at the bottom of the ocean and Yellowstone Park. Don't dare confuse it with you, bacteria, for it consists of different structures, metabolisms, and environments. Our key bacteria is thought to be the start of civilization, paving the way for protists to rule the day. So the next time you stare into the eyes of an archaea bacteria, remember to smile and give it a thank you. For without it, you might not be here today. Snoochie Booch Productions.